Well, for the first time this year, we have seen the stupidest thing in hockey, the shootout. And the Leafs lose 5-4 in the shootout to the Philadelphia Flyers. I don't care if the Leafs win or if they lost today. The shootout still sucks. It's still a horrendous way to end off a game like this. Because it was entertaining. Both goalies played well, yet it was a 4-4 game after 30 minutes. You know, Frederick Anderson played better than we've been seeing lately. Yes, he did allow four goals, but they were on 44 shots. And the quality of those, ch those chances were just through the roof. It was terrible, you know, but I mean... The Leafs got out to the early lead, and the first period for the Leafs was great. You know, Connor Brown scores his seventh goal of the year off a beautiful, beautiful pass from Tyler Ennis for his seventh of the year. Uh, Ennis and Goche grab assist, and the Leafs got a 1-0 uh, lead just five minutes into the game. It's exactly what you want to see. And then what? Seven minutes after that. Connor Brown causes the turnover, in the, or I guess Kadri causes the turnover. It gets to Connor Brown, and Connor Brown fires it back to Kadri, short side. He buries it on Carter Hart, and the Leafs got a 2 0 lead after one. Shots were 11 to 10 in favor of the Leafs after one period of play. They're, they're playing all right. Frederick Anderson has saved all 10 shots. We have a good first period going here. But then in the second, the Leafs collapse. They give up a million chances. They can't get out of their zone. We've talked about that being an X factor in the series against the Bruins coming up. You're going to have to find ways to get the puck out of your end. And that was a problem. You know, how did, uh, well, first things first, uh, Travis Konechny scores a beautiful, beautiful goal. Just ripped it, uh, chopped top cheese on Frederick Anderson, making it a 2-1 game. They're 339 in. And then Radko Gudis with a floater from the point. And the reason what the reason I was saying this causes this is a turnover. Frederick Anderson gets his behind his own net, backhands it to uh, Igor Ozaganov in the corner. He ends up losing it. It gets into his feet, causing a turnover. Causing a turnover, and then it ends up back at the point. And Gudis just floats it on net. Meanwhile, Ron Hainsey just kind of steps right in Frederick Anderson's view. He can't see it, and it's in the back of the net. It's a 2-2 game. You know, and then then what? With about five minutes to play, Sean Couturier scores. You know, and this one, I, I don't understand. I, I really don't get it, you know. Um, watching these guys kind of collapse, it, it's brutal. On that goal. Four of the five Leafs that are on the ice. You guys can picture the circle beside the goalie. Picture half a circle and the half beside the boards, right? All four Leafs were on that side of the circle. Meanwhile, the rest of the ice is empty with two flyers. So the puck gets back to the point. Everyone's got to try and scramble across. Meanwhile, Ron Hainsey's trying to guard the point. I'm not sure what he's doing. Riley's trying to guard the guy in the corner. Then he looks up. Oh, where's Hainsey? I gotta try and get to the guy in front of the net. And that's Sean Couturier, who redirects the Travis Sanheim, uh, Sanheim, however you pronounce his name, uh, puck into the net to give it a 3-2 lead. So Riley's gonna try and card two guys at once where he kinda can't. Meanwhile, Hainsey's just trying to play keep away at the point. I'm not sure why. And you're trailing 3-2 after two periods of play. You give up 18 shots, you allow three goals, 18-13 were the shots in the second period. And guys, you go after having a 2-0 second period and play alright defense, and you, you have a 2-0 lead. It's always a good thing when you have a, a, a multi-goal lead after one period of play. But then in the second, they collapse, and they give up three unanswered, and just like that, you're trailing after 20, after 20 more minutes. They have to come out in the third and get going. Austin Matthews, this guy can shoot like nobody else. It's ridiculous. He scores his 36th goal of the year, minute 43 in unassisted. And the Leafs have tied the game at three. Then, another turnover, right? Morgan Riley's got the puck. Uh, they, the, they dump the puck in. Riley's got the puck. Ron Hainsey goes behind the net to try and get the pass, which... It makes sense. You know, Riley's going to backhand it around to Hainsey and then they'll break it out of their own end. I get that. Problem is, two guys go two guys go in on Riley while Hainsey's already behind his own net. Turnover! And the puck gets centered. Meanwhile, like I said, Hainsey's behind the net. He can't do anything. And uh, Ryan Hartman beats Frederick Anderson and uh, it's a 4-3 game. Turnovers kill you in the Bruins series. I get it. I, I understand 
that the Leafs will be getting guys like Jake Gardner and Travis Dermott back from injury at some point soon, which is great news. But for right now, turnovers are an issue. And Freddie, I don't care if he gave up four goals on 40 or 44 shots. I thought he played a pretty solid game. How many big saves did he have to make in that first period? Well, he made 10 saves. Quite a few of them were gigantic saves. And then, obviously, in that second period, yes, he did allow three goals on 18 shots. What about the other 15? They were all onslaught by the... The Leafs were getting just ripped apart by the uh, Philadelphia Flyers. So he had to make 15 other saves to at least keep his team in it. And then we get to overtime. And I thought JVR was going to bury the overtime winner. They end up scoring, but it gets waved off because there was a, a whistle that went a little bit later than it probably should have. And they call it back. The reason being, I think there was an intent to blow the, blow the whistle earlier. And it wasn't, obviously, because no one's perfect. Um, so they take the goal away. And then the Leafs have a bazillion chances. Le After that, they have a stupid amount of chances in overtime. Can't beat Carter Hart. And then we go to the shootout. For the first time this year. And no Leaf can score. As kind of expected. Having not played in one this year. I don't know how many uh, the Flyers have played in at all. but And then uh, I th when JVR came out. I thought he was going to score. Because it's it's something Toronto teams would do. Um, but uh, John Tavares loses his handle on a puck. And that sucks. John Couturier ends up scoring. And, and no, no Leaf score. One, two, three, four Leaf shoot. They can't beat Carter Hart. Look, he's a great goalie. He's going to be a great great goalie for the Flyers the first time in forever since Ron Hextall. They've actually had a good goalie. Now, for the Leafs, you get a point. And anybody being mad at this, why? The Philly, Philadelphia Flyers are a team that is just hanging on for their dear playoff hopes and trying to fight for a final playoff spot. And the Leafs are just sitting in their spot like, well, we, we know where we're playing, who we're playing, when we're playing probably. So we're just trying to ride this season out. And you get a point. The Leafs are 2-0-2 in their last four games. They got points in four straight. Without Jake Gardner and Travis Sturman, I don't care what the oppositions are. You want to get points at any point in time. And they do tonight against the uh, against the Philadelphia Flyers. They, they were able to get a point out of it. Now, the Leafs have a couple days off here. All right, They don't play till Saturday night. 7 o'clock puck drop in Ottawa. Frederick Anderson, Andres Nielsen are the expected starters. Now, can we please play a better game this game than we did last time against Ottawa? Because that was atrocious. He lost 6-2 in Ottawa, even though it felt like a, uh, a Scotiabank Arena atmosphere. And Freddie, you know what? As much as he gave up four goals, yeah. A lot of them were high-quality chances, though, I do have to say. And he made a lot of big saves for this team, even to get the point. He's the reason you got the point, really. Um, but, you know, people are going to see four goals and say that he had a terrible game and what the heck's wrong with him and he's terrible and blah, 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 blah. Look, the Leafs don't have two of the regular defensemen. They allowed a lot of quality chances. They got a point. On the road. Fine. Deal with it. Now, I don't know what the whole... I don't know with getting a point. I don't, I don't know what that means with the whole Montreal situation and Columbus situation. Tomorrow, both teams, both those teams play. Um, who does... Uh, who plays who? They play each other. So I don't know what the heck, how the Leafs can clinch a playoff spot. If you guys know that whole thing, let me know in the comments below, guys, and that, that would be great. But for the Leafs, you just got to get some points, lock in your playoff spot, and then we just relax. Look, there's only, what, four or five games left? A couple weeks to go? Just hang in there. You know, we're almost there. We understand who we're facing. So they got to be preparing now for that. All right, so you know what, guys? That is going to do it for this one. You guys enjoyed the video. And you guys, yeah, if you guys enjoyed it or you didn't, heck, hit that like button. I do appreciate that. <laughs> hit that subscribe button if you guys have not already. Comment down below what you think of the game. What do you think of Frederick Anderson? I thought he was all right today. Even though he gave up four goals, I thought he was still pretty good. Uh, if you have an MVP for the Toronto Maple Leafs, go ahead. I could give it to Connor Brown. I thought he had a great first period. And that fourth line was fantastic. The entire game once again. So what are your thoughts on this team, the injuries? How big of an impact do you think Dermot and Gardner are going to make when they come back? I think they're going to be a it's going to be an immense difference than flipping Martin Marincin and Igor Oz Ozaganov. But that's just my thoughts. You guys can have some other opinions towards that. Speaking of opinions, the podcast. Evan and I will be uploading and recording the podcast tomorrow afternoon. Link is in the description for the podcast channel and for the podcast itself on iTunes. Twitter is also down below. Follow up. 
send me a DM, do all that great stuff, and I will talk to you guys, Blue Jays edition, tomorrow afternoon, for the season opener for the Toronto Blue Jays, 337 first pitch at Rogers Center, Jordan Zimmerman, Marcus Stroman are the, are the starters in tomorrow afternoon's game, in game one of 162, it is going to be a long season, but kind of excited to watch baseball once again, and excited to see the Blue Jays and the new Blue Jays with Kenrys Morales getting moved. Do I smell a Rowdy Telez call up? I don't know. That's what I see coming. Because then you want to have Smokey and, Mor and, and Rowdy Telez flipping back and forth from DH at first base. Oh, it would be beautiful to watch. But we're going to have to wait and see how, how all this plays out moving forward and all that. And that's for the Toronto Raptors, guys. Their next game is tomorrow night as they are in New York taking on the Knicks, the very lonely New York Knicks. At the bottom of the... Uh, looking for Zion Williamson in the draft. That's really all they're playing for right now. They got like 14 wins in the entire season. Yikes. The Raptors look to guarantee that a victory, basically. You could sit Kawhi, you could sit Kyle Lowry. It don't matter. You should get that victory tomorrow against the Knicks and get on a nice little roll here to end the season. And as for the Toronto Maple Leafs, guys, like we've said, they take on the Ottawa Senators in Ottawa. In, uh, in Ottawa on Saturday night. 7 o'clock puck drop. Frederick Anderson, Anders Nielsen are the expected starters in that game. Take it one game at a time, Leaf fans. We're almost at playoff time, all right? So thank you guys so much for listening and watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you guys then.